I'm Claudia Mitchell. You might think that it's odd I'm showing you pictures of me tying my shoes. When you use a prosthesis, you can only, you only know what's happening when you can see it. But I think it's a miracle that I can. I grew up in a small town in Arkansas. I enlisted in the Marine Corps, and it was the best decision I ever made. I got out in 2003. I went back to Arkansas and started school. 10 days into my summer classes, I had a motorcycle accident. It was only the second time I'd ever been on a motorcycle. We were going too fast around a curve and I flew under the guardrail. I had a lot of internal damage and my arm was severed. I was already going through a lot of life changes. I had just left the Marine Corps and come back to the civilian world. So to lose a limb on top of all of that was devastating. I found the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago through an article in Popular Mechanics magazine. It was about Jesse Sullivan. They called him the first bionic man. I was so excited that I tore it out of the magazine at the school library, and I still have it. Then I called the general number to the hospital and asked who I could talk to about getting an arm of my own. I was the first girl to ever ask for the operation and the first person of my age to get one. I got my surgery on my 25th birthday. Okay. All right. The way the surgery works is they take the nerve ends that used to connect to my fingers, hands, and elbow and remap them to muscles in my chest. So I just have to think I want to do something and the electric sensors on my chest will translate that thought into action. I have been going back to the Rehabilitation Institute for testing every year with new arms because every year the technology gets better. They are working now on a new generation of arms that will send nerve signals back to the brain which tell it what your fingers are feeling. Things like textures, hot and cold, or whether you're holding your coffee cup too tight. Those are muscle signals. It's what her brain is telling her uh, muscles to do. When I first came up here, it was all about me. I wanted an arm that worked for me. I wanted it so that I could have a better life. But being part of the process where there's research and learning, it became a part of making something better for people that come after me. That next 23-year-old girl who loses her arm and is so frustrated when she tries to iron a shirt that she breaks down in tears. I just can't tell you how liberating it is to iron my own pants to make my own peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or to put on my own makeup. How liberating it is to walk down Michigan Avenue marveling at Water Tower Place, and how much I value the life that I have. For that, I want to thank my husband and my family and the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, and you. Without you, I wouldn't be standing here tonight saying thank you, Community Trust.